action. Hello, my name is March C. And in today's speech, I'm going to demonstrate the correct way to teach and perform a back handspring, as well as the test skills to help prepare the gymnast for this skill. First of all, I'd like to point out to make sure that the person um, doing the skill is in good health and ha is clear to be able to perform an advanced skill such as this. Second of all, please do not attempt this without a trained instructor to spot the student or the gymnast as they perform this skill. Third, make sure that you have been stretching your muscles to ensure adequate flexibility before attempting this skill. Before attempting this skill, there are three important test, um, test or practice skills that you must perfect and you must practice, practice, practice on until you've developed enough strength to actually perform the back handspring. Our first skill to prepare the gymnast for a back handspring is called a back kickover. I'm going to demonstrate that today. The back kickover, you would use an apparatus such as this or anything that the, per that the gymnast can hang off of. You begin with your arms above your head. You bridge as if you've got this arch like a rainbow. Hands are on the ground. Use your abdominal muscles and snap those feet over simultaneously and end with your arms above your head. Again, you begin with your arms above your head. Bridge over the apparatus, hey, placing your hands on the ground, using your abdominal muscles, snap with your feet, arms above the head. The next skill is called a handstand push-up. You do this by placing your hands on the ground, your feet go above your head, stretched up to the ceiling. Using your shoulder muscles, push off your hands through your shoulders as you snap your feet down simultaneously using your abdominal muscles. Hands on the ground, feet above in the air. Push through your shoulders, snap your feet down, finish with your arms above your head. The next, Layla, the next practice skill that we're going to perform is called the banana jump. The gymnast begins with her hands above her head or his head as if to hold a halo. You bend with your feet together, sit in your chair. Stretch back over your shoulder as if you're jumping like a banana. And then the gymnast lands back onto the ground in front of you, arms above the head. Here I go again, bend your knees, over, back down, stand up above your head. Now, after perfecting these three skills, practicing these skills, and build, developing the strength that it takes to do a back handspring, the gymnast may then um, do the back handspring. I'm going to spot this back handspring and show you. Um, she's going to sit as if she's sitting in the chair. She rocks back off of her heels, and as she rocks back off her heels, she jumps back, pushing off through her shoulders, pushing off her hands, back handspring, and snaps her feet down simultaneously at the end with her arms above her head. Down, push back, arms above the head. Okay, now for our final product, the back handspring. Her arms are above her head. She sits as if she's sitting in the chair, rocks back off of her heels, pushes through her shoulders, ends with her hands above her head. One more time, arms above her head, sits in the chair, Pushes back off the heels, pushes through the shoulders, arms up above the head. Okay, I hope that I was informative to you. I hope that I demonstrated how to teach and perform a back handspring. Again, please do not try this without a skilled instructor. But maybe it gives you a little bit of idea of how much work that goes into perfecting this skill and how much strength that it takes for the gymnast to be able to perform this skill. Thank you.